So hi guys, uh, it's Tuesday night, just getting the bins ready for the horses. Um, so this will be the last time I feed up all the horses at night. Uh, the vets are coming tomorrow, I'm getting two vets apparently. So, um, I've just been over to West Vets to pick up Dorma Paste and Ace Tablets. And I picked up that for Dan and Edge. Because uh, once I put them in the round yard and the excavator comes up, um, or the backhoe, uh, Edge knows the backhoe. He's uh, been around it before, but the other horses haven't. So I'm just trying to work out. I know where I'm going to yard them. I'll put Sharker and Zoran in a yard together, Mickey in his yard. Dan will go into Sharker's yard. Uh, Hudson will go into that spare yard. Ed will go to the round yard. Uh, it's the oil. Got oil there to use up, I might as well. Cider vinegar. Um, yeah, so I've got everything ready to go. The vet's coming at one o'clock. That'll give my neighbour time to dig the holes. Uh, he's only charging me fuel. And um, a carton of beer, which I got tonight for him. Um, I am nervous. I am feeling sick. I am, yeah... I just hope it all goes okay. They will be yarded up in the morning. They will all be fed. Um, they won't be able to see what's going on. Uh, I've made sure of that from where I'm going to put them, but it will be a bit of a walk to where we're going to do it. So uh, it's a case of I need Edge slightly sedated so I can catch him. I need Dan sedated because uh, he doesn't like IV needles. So um, he has previously hit me in the head and knocked me out when he's had colic. He had colic once in 17 years. So, um, yeah, so this is the last time I have to feed this many horses. And it's sad, guys. It's really sad. So I'm just going to start yarding up horses for the last time. Well, no, tomorrow morning's the last time. They've had last night's feed. Hey, Dan, man. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Alpha. You're a good boy, aren't you? Hey, good boy. You coming? Yeah, Mick, Mick. Hey, darling. You get the rug off tomorrow, darling. You get to run free. Hey, come on. He's a good boy. Come on, Alpha. Yeah, a good boy. I'm get your gate. He's a good boy, Arthur. Mum, I'm on the blind side, mate. On the blind. Yeah. Jane's on the mower next door, so I just told her what's going on tomorrow, so that we she doesn't get a shock or anything. Come on, Zaren. Well, Freddy's next. Hang on, Fred. I'm coming for you. Hey, big boy. You're coming on the big trip, aren't you? You'll be right, mate. Mum look after you for a few more years, eh? Yeah, good boy. Come on. Come on. Big boy. We have a very strict routine as the three dominant ones go in first in order of what mum says and what they say. Go on, Shaka. That a good boy. A bit pushy tonight. Hey, big man. It's right, you get extra tomorrow. Mum's got extra hay. So we're basically keeping the hay feeders. 
as I said, Arthur goes back to his bed. We just fatten him up before we get him out. Come on, Bubba. Good boy, Zone. Oh, I can hear you clicking and crunching and carrying on. Hey, Dan, man. Hey. He's a good boy. Hmm? Yeah, I'm coming. He says, don't play with Dan. Mum, don't play with Dan. Everybody's got water. You get some hay in a minute. Hey, kids. We'll sort you out with a cortisone shot, I think, Miss Midgey. Oh, Mickey. Hey, Bubby. Sorry. Mickey's last hurrah. Guys, his last hurrah. I'm just going to carry the camera with me now. Hey, Mick. Your last hurrah, Bubba. Hey. You should feed me, Mum. I'm precious. Yeah, there you go. You should feed. Gonna make a mess. That's Dan calling out for his feed. Come on, Mr. Dan, man. Mummy's got you some sedatives. He, as I said, he'll go in Sharkish Yard tomorrow. Because he has to go where there's no hay. Hey, buddy. Here's your dinner. Here they all are. For the last time. Here you guys. I know. I know. Now Fred's been getting some feed. Because he's a bit light on. And I'll need him heavy in that. So we... <sighs> with the others gone, it's going to be easier to feed him up a bit. He's looking better. He's starting to beef up a bit. But that's partially the winter coat as well. So he's got a bit of hay here, so we're just going to give him a feed. Because he'll get lots of hay in the morning. So he doesn't need hay tonight. Sharka says, but mum, I'm getting skinny. You better feed me up. Yes, darling. Zoran thinks he's dying of starvation too. Yes, but you have teeth and you eat the grass. You're good boys. We'll get Arthur a feed. Tomorrow my plan is to put... Hudson in this yard and Edge in the round yard. I'll just see how I go. Um, so I've got to get the excavator through this gate. I don't want either of them panicking. I could put them both in the round yard, but then I've got to try to feed them so that could be awkward. <laughs> Let mum open this gate and then we can push you right through. Just so you're used to it, baby, so you don't get caught up. This is a big gate, this one. 16 foot gates. Let's see if we can go right through. Come on, Hudson. Come on, Huddy. Hudson, come on. Quick. Eh, it's a boy. you got lots of room there. There's a boy. Let me get your dinner bowl. Wait there. There's lots of grass. Don't get caught in the gate, Bubba. Mum wants to feed you in there tonight. Yeah, Bubby. I don't really want to close the gate. But I do want him fed in there. So I'm going to take him in as far as I can without him getting nervous. Hey, Bubba. Hey. Come on, sweet. Yeah, boy. You're all right, yeah. He said, that's different, Mum. Yeah, and I could close that on him if I wanted to, which is good. Um, I don't know how successful I'll get Edge to the round yard tomorrow, so I'll feed him with sedation first. I'll just move that a bit for Edge. So I'll just drop it over the fence here. And I'll just feed him with a sedation first. And then I could take him into that little electric fence yard. I probably should have tried that. And then I could have taken him from there to the round yard. I'm not supposed to sedate you to an hour before. Nah, I'll just walk over to the round yard and risk it. It'll get pretty 
upset with me, but I'm sure I can risk it. It's all good. That's Fred. He's looking for McIndan. I've already had a gallop up and down the paddock. I've just let them out. It's after five. It's Arthur. Bad day is all I can say. This will go on most of the night, guys. I'm, I've had it before. So I'm just going to leave them in peace and hope nobody gets hurt. They've sniffed them out. It's heartbreaking because they don't understand that they know where they last smelt where they were because they can smell them. There you go. Going down to see if they can find them again. Shaka will be devastated. He's in the lead at the moment because he's had those two for 17 years. Thank you. 